Hey Doomer family, I decided to do something a little different today, a little short vlog on a touristy type destination. It's pretty bright. It's Sunday, May 16th, and I am at the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. Yes, the same nation that poisons waters overseas and has more military bases on the planet than any other civilization before. It's on a nature preserve though, which is kind of nice. A few older people, pretty crowded today. Everyone's out, I guess without the mask mandate. So let's go ahead and check it out. So walking in now, I forgot to say this is in Bentonville, Arkansas, which is just north of where I live in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So I just got off the elevator and of course you got the gift shop. And then I guess I go over here and get tickets. It's pretty crowded today. I'm just, Are you ready? I'm ready. So this is the entrance. She looks pretty ghastly, huh? Like she just found out about climate change. Wicked. It's a Norman Rockwell right there. It's a classic. That's Mr. Hamilton right there. I guess how we used to live. Imagine going through the pandemic then. Huh? And that's what my great grandfather did. Great, great, great grandfather ran a steamboat on the Mississippi River. Just found out that about a few years ago. And that's how we used to live, and that's how we're gonna go back to living. See? That's us in 2040. Mm-hmm. People will use this place as a hideout, a bunker. That's crazy, what is that? So we got a modern, or early American art. Got a full circle. Some photography in here. It's kind of too dark to see. To the early American art now. Wicked, bro. This piece. I don't know, something about that drew my attention. By the way, I'm doing all this on uh, Indian encampment. 1796, so this was done in 1852. It took them seven years. Seven years to do that. This one was done in 1862. It's Yosemite Falls.
this is really good. This is a good one. That's how I plan to live. Right there. Okay, let's keep going around here. Painters of modern life. Lots of art here. Oh, what that is. Yes, cliff dwellers. They were an upbeat sense of vitality among urban working class people in their environment. Yes. Except it's not that fun anymore. A whole hodgepodge of art here. Kind of unnamed. It just says notions of beauty, so it doesn't look like it's actually nothing about it. This is pretty epic. The Bubble in 1928. Oh, let's see this thing. How to become a modern artist. Right. I'm juggling multiple interests. Um, I can move around. I'll get some life experience first. Yeah, I'm doing all that. It sucks. There's no pay. Being creative and intelligent is absolutely worthless in modern society. It is worthless. That's a modern heart here. I like that. For some reason that stands out to me. Isn't that good? Light and dark. I like the contrast. Really well done. I guess like Warhol said, without first impressions, we wouldn't have art or what have you. What did he say? We wouldn't have art if there weren't first impressions, something like that. So I'm going downstairs here. This whole thing is like a maze, big circle. And more stuff. Appreciate it. So this is some American rugged individualism, industrialization era. The modern times when we do what? Oh, the mat? Yeah. It kind of fell. I'm vaccinated too, by the way. Okay, whatever. He was getting on me because my mask fell like two inches on my nose. I've seen these before. This is in Dallas. Plaster molds, seen it. Looks like there's an outdoor trail. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so this is from Leonard Drew in 2017. Wood paint and mixed media. This is art, guys. This is the collapse of civilization. This is the feelings that we have see this is how the artist feels right 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 this is beautiful americana yep we are the terrorist organization of the world I'm gonna go in here and see what's looks dark. Yeah, this is good. This steel mill. That's rough. Nineteen thirty six Times Square. I like that. Edward Hopper. It's a classic. Nineteen twenty eight. 
Okay, I'm gonna get out of here and go to the other room. Probably one of the most famous pieces, at least, of this museum. Is this wall mural? One more about it. It's uh, took him a while. Acrylic. Anyways, let's keep going. See, these normies have absolutely no idea. Like, all this just looks like foreign language to them. This is crazy. Okay, I'm going to the back. Welcome back to the present. Okay. This is good. Big red lens. I like that one too. There's a Rothko. I wonder if it's an original. 1960. Ah, is that a Basquiat? That's what I'm talking about. No, Helen Frankenthaler, 1951. Some more stuff over here. I like this. That's very cool, Julia. Met through. It's nice. Nate Larson, I've heard of him. Tell me I'm not making a mistake. Tell me you're worth the wait. That's good. I love you, little baby G says, I'm going to have a beautiful baby. If your daddy doesn't want to know, he doesn't deserve to know anything at all. Okay. Yeah, it's contemporary. That's where we're going. This is contemporary, guys. This is where we're at. The Trinity. 1962. What is art, guys? What is it? I mean, honestly. What, what kind of virus produces this stuff? This is kind of cool. Seen enough Russian burgers in my life. Nineteen seventy. Yes, all of this will be burned soon. Turn into firewood. Because we gotta keep ourselves warm. That's epic. Mother's Milk, 2018. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, 1975, Mary Morez. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here.
Let's go the other way. Okay, so I did a full circle and I'm back in the restaurant slash lobby area and I'm gonna go and just walk a little trail real quick. Go to the fly's eye, that big circle dome thing. Let's see what's out there. So I think I gotta walk all the way around. Maybe I can go this way. So I'm outside, it's called the North Lawn. I'm gonna go big, check out this big dome. It's called the Fly's Eye Dome. Looks like an album cover from yeah, I was the gonna 70s. Say, I was trying to find the who's in the window. It's like, oh no, never mind. Like the first thing I saw when I looked at it, I was like, Dave Gold. <laughs> so it's a massive trail here. I'm not gonna walk the whole thing. But I hear it's kind of pretty. Maybe I'll just take a short little walk, see where it goes. So I walked all the way over here to find out. It's just like dirt trails and biking. Great if you had a bike. That's what everyone's doing around here. So I ended up doing the hike. I'm a little winded. Apparently there's art all along the trails here. Art. Yes, that's the word, art. Some glass structures. Once you've seen a few, you've seen them all. And it just keeps going around and around. Looks like there's art in the trees. Go check that out. All right, Crystal Bridges North Forest. 35 acres of trails and quote unquote art. Yes. Well, I'm kind of glad I kept walking because I got this Da Vinci work of art. Standing structure for human use. You stand. It's how you're meant to interact with live structures. It's called series of transitory objects. Contain energies. This is this is what chicks are into nowadays, guys. This is where this is where our culture's at. As you stand and you get the energy healing from these crystals. So I'm gonna look like a weirdo here and do this real quick. Can't believe you made it to this point in the video. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna get some energy transferred to my dome. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. This way or this way? People are looking at me kind of weird. So they're all over the forest. I guess this is what we need, guys. It's healing crystals placed strategically throughout a quiet forest with talking people and, and sirens going off in the distance. That's what we need. That's what we need to fund a couple billion dollars for. Ooh, what's that? I like domes over there. I just got, I'm curious. I gotta go check that out. So I'm getting pretty exhausted. I mean, I'm sweating. It's humid. There's tons of trails, like I said. And I just about did it. Once you've been to one museum, you've kind of been to them all. Not really, but I mean, it's just a few affluent people who decide what goes in these places. And they have so much money and prestige. It doesn't even matter. All right, I'm going to think go back to the front. Oh, I forgot to mention one more thing on my way out. Is this, I've seen this in Marfa by Dan Flavin. Could have been the same artist. This is where we're at. This is it's American art, guys. This is what America is. What the hell are we? What are we, honestly? I mean, what kind of diseased freak would make this? Whatever. Walked around the whole thing. Here for you guys. I'm here for you. Except, I guess, the Great Hall? I don't know. Alright, time to leave. I ended up walking around to see the Great Hall, which is just basically a, like a convenient, you know, for events and stuff. But that, that's in 2040. Everyone's going to be hanging out right there and setting up shop. Because no one can get to them. Okay. What are my impressions? It's nice. It's just like every other 
museum. I'm gonna stand over here. I'm at the parking lot. Um, you know, billions of dollars for a contemporary building manned by thousands of museum workers across the nation standing around not knowing that all of this is temporary and all of that art will be firewood soon and just so a bunch of boomers and really sheeple can walk through and have no idea what they're looking at and go ooh and ah pretty pretty lame I mean it's a nice building but yeah we're the virus so that's been your tour of the Crystal Bridges Museum in Fayette Bittenville Arkansas excuse me and I'm thinking about checking out this other museum or the botanical gardens I've got to stop staying inside and vlogging all the time Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.